The following program is rated mature. It may contain strong, coarse language, violence, and other mature content not appropriate for children under 17. The views expressed in this program may not represent those of this cable station or its employees. Previously, on the Not So Late Show. No more bad jokes while we're here. <laughs> Forget about the Twinkies! Ah, 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 ah. Don't do it! <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one! Oh my God. It's nine o'clock on a Friday night, so grab a seat and you just might see something really great. You've got the time, it's not too late to watch a show that will. There's nothing that they haven't tried Cause everything tastes great when it's deep fried So lock your doors and sit right down There is no better place to go Cause it's time for the not so late show Now, imagine Brad running topless in slow motion. The Not So Late Show. Here what? Us. Well, they may, and then again, they may not. No, I'm pretty sure they can. At least they can hear me. They're going to hear you go in a second. Turn off number two. Your mic's clear. Anyways, uh, since you can't hear Jay. What? Uh, what? Who? Yeah. Welcome to another uh, fantastic episode of the Not So Late Show. Sa sans Brad. No Brad. Uh, Hans. The, the, the Sans. Ah. Hans shot first. <laughs> um, Who shot JR? I don't know. Oh. Oklahoma. Yeah, so, but, um, so as the cue card stated, if you can still hear us, yeah. Brad may be dead. He may be dead, or he may be chasing tornadoes. Or tornadoes may be chasing him. Or, we evidently have photographic evidence of one or the other. Or tornadoes and him may be chasing, you know, donuts. He does That like is a good possibility. Yes. Rob, I can move for you, because I just kind of plopped. That's fine. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, just like your forehead in the poster. <laughs> So, so how's it going, Jay? It's going great. Yeah? Maybe even people can hear us. Maybe. I and if they can hear us, that'll be even greater. I just turned it off. Just put it back on normal. Uh, yeah. Well, our, 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 turn it off. No, your, your normal is like negative 40. Which is what we were told it needed to be. Oh, stop. Which is why we were having that problem. Anyways. Anyways. So there, there shouldn't be any reason why they...
And that's what happened last week with me. So, I mean, it's it was actually really interesting. I saw it on YouTube, so. Yeah. 15 million hits, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. dude. I'm, I'm famous. Absolutely. I'll, I'll see you on, like, uh, the Today Show or something. I'm like, the next anything. Rebecca Black. <laughs> but you're a dude. All you got to do is search ambidextrous monkeys and you'll find me. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I named it. That's just random. Who knew they could do that? Yeah. Uh, anyways. Uh, so we have a decent show. We, we actually have some things planned, believe it or not. I know. Even without Brad. We did some work. Even though Brad's new name is Alicia. Uh, uh, yeah, that didn't run. Yeah. Oh, which one ran? The other one. Oh, you failed. Which we can cue the... Yeah. I was saving your bathroom. You were peeing. Be honest. No, I was saving the bathroom. Bad things happened. Did it go... <laughs> yes, it did. Well, that's what happens when you shove cherry bombs down the pipe. I was just trying to clear the blockage. No. Well, as long as it's at your house, it's fine. That's true. This isn't your house, though. So stop it. <laughs> so how was your week? Oh, my week was fine. Yeah? Truck broke. Oh. Yeah. What broke? I don't know. I can't say the name of it. Oh. <laughs> but I know it costs a lot of money and it takes a highly trained person to fix it. I know the sound it makes, but no. <laughs> um, it's like some fuel celluloid something. I don't know. I thought that was like the hail damage thing you got on your leg. Basically, you it means that gas is leaking into the cab of the truck. Is that bad? Not if I like losing brain cells. And luckily, <laughs> no laws here. You have a few million of them. What, what are you going to miss, one or two? I've been doing that my entire life, though, so I pretty like get four left. Sweet. Yeah, dude. It's awesome. I'm almost down to one, dude. Imagine when I get to that last one. Oh, man, that thing's going to be clinging on to life. <laughs> it's going to be like, I have so much room for activities in here. Um, it's a party and everyone's invited. All uh, right. <laughs> only everybody's me. <laughs> Nobody likes me. What about you? How was your week? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Got stuff done around the house. Yep. And then I went back to work. Good. But we did play uh, video games. We did play some Lord of the Rings uh, War in the North. Yeah. Just a hack and slash. It is. But it makes us happy. It, well, it makes him happy. It I, does. I just humor him. It's true. But anyways. Anyway. Um, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if Rob's ready. He might be on the phone. Yeah, we have our geeky news of the week. We Believe it or not, we without Brad, we news. still have geeky news. Yeah, because we're geeks. That's true. Um, if, we, if we can queue up the bottom... They're, they're, they're talking amongst themselves, evidently. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, you guys. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No? Sorry, I'm on the phone with your producer. Who, oh, Brad? I am the yeah, producer. Hi, Brad. Hi, hi Brad. Brad. He's still alive. I am the producer. <laughs> I can't be on the phone with myself. <laughs> they're, they're, they're trying to set up tech. Well, yeah, but he's stopping us from doing it. Good news, everyone. Brad's alive. Because he's on the phone. Okay, well, I guess we have to stall. Because, Brad oh wait, wait! <gasps> things have happened. Ooh, play has not been hit, but things have happened. Ooh, we have a thing. No, that's my leg. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Woo! We have six. Six, We have sixty-nine Learn. seconds because Jay's superb. Um, yes. anyways, Teen Titans returns. Uh, Cartoon Network is relaunching Teen Titans, except it's being called Teen Titans Go. It's Instead of stop. Yeah. Oh. Um, is that, I don't know if you, did you watch the, the uh, old Teen yeah, Titans? No. You didn't? No. It's actually really funny. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll give the second go around to go around. Well, that's why they call it Teen Titan, Teen Titans. Teen Titans Go. Go. Yeah, so you Yay. can go ahead and oh. give it a second try. Woohoo! For the first time. Go for Te it again. Go and go Teen Titans Go. What's the premise of the show? Uh, Robin, Beast Boy, Cyborg, Raven, and Star Starfire. I was gonna Star Fox. That's a different thing. Make, make the Teen Titans. Uh, it's, it's you know obviously Batman and Robin. It's Robin. Um, it's a bunch of like, you know, kids. Kid Flash was in it, stuff like that. <laughs> and they just go dirty. fighting like random crimes that usually end up building up to something by the end of the season that's actually really cool. And then they start all over again. So it's like an old 70s uh, drama where it's like little thing, little thing, then at the end, big thing! And exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. That works. So let's see if we can get the buzzer on this one. <sighs> <laughs> all we hear from the control room is, oh. How many producers do we ah, have? We're out Yay. of time. We're out of time. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Virgin iPhone. I saw her face in it. It was beautiful. No, actually, oh. uh, Virgin Mobile is going to be getting the iPhone in 2013. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is good. Actually, by, or is this bad? by, by I 2013, know. I mean uh, June 29th. 
<laughs> May have been making too Somebody much didn't read their own thing. Uh, there, <laughs> there's a problem with it. Fail. Oh. You have to pay completely full retail. Oh. Yeah, for the Part phones. of me just puckered when I heard that. Like, like, full, like, you know how, like, you can get, like, a deal and they knock off, like, 150 bucks for sending a two-year contract? Yeah. None of that. Nothing. Full retail plus the contract you got. Is it actually going to be like the uh, 4S or the 5 when yeah. it comes oh, out? No, it'll, it'll be so the it'll be, it's not going to be like the uh, iPhone 2. It's a iPhone 3G. Yay. You can now use uh, Safari. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> yeah. Safari what? They, they have like uh, the 8 gigabit. It's, it's the iPhone 4 and the 4S that they're, they're launching. Uh, only available in white. <laughs> only available in white? <laughs> only available in purple. It's a failed color. <laughs> Uh, anyways. Uh, I don't know if your third one got on, because you only said two. Oh, this is your third. Yeah, I don't know if we can fill 69 seconds on this, considering you never read any of his books. I don't even know who he is. Excuse but me? But evidently he's dead. I don't know how to read. <laughs> um, Ray Brad... <laughs> Ray Bradbury is, uh, has passed away. Which I'm sorry uh, to hear, week. even though I don't know who the hell he is. He wrote Fahrenheit 451. The book, Heard that, of that. book that everybody, like, burned back in the day. Um, I think they burned like all of his books. The the Martian. They burned books. Yeah, they burned what books. What an odd thing. Yeah, well, it was kept them warm. It was very cold. Ooh. Yeah, they were thick. Um, <laughs> Martian Chronicles. Uh, something wicked this way comes. <laughs> a bunch of sci- it's a sci- it's sci-fi oh. and you know. And now he's gone. Yeah, I actually read I read the fair amount of Fahrenheit 451 b- between when burnings. I found out who he was and <laughs> between burnings I read this. Yeah. It was interesting. Uh, it's 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 an in- it's an interesting book. Uh, it's not for everybody. Uh, hmm. We still got 14 seconds to talk about this guy, and I'm the only one who knows about him. Now you only got nine. Ah, uh, well, at least that's good. I'm running out of time. Oh what, no, there was one last thing. I just remember that it's actually it's a life story, an autobiography of no. Eh, there we go. <laughs> I'm expecting it to cut me off. <laughs> no. Well, you tried, and for that, we thank you. Oh. Next. Apple, Apple sues Samsung. I know, big surprise, but Apple again. is suing Samsung once again. What for developing their parts? No, I, this isn't the first time that Apple has sued Samsung, and you're, you're wondering why because Apple's parts are made by Samsung. So isn't that kind of like biting the hand that feeds you? It's like GM, <laughs> like suing GM, like GM suing like everybody. Yeah, like they suing AC out. Delco. It's like yeah. AC Delco makes all your parts. Why are you... You're an idiot. So what's going on? Well, evidently the Galaxy S3, the Samsung Galaxy S3 is coming out at the end of this month. Apple said, no, you can't release it. I'm putting an injunction in. You're going to stop because this and this little thing infringes on our patents. Wah. One of their 15 billion yeah, patents they 15, have. Something about a search. It's like all software-based. It's not even hardware or anything like that. I, I just think they see that the, the Samsung Galaxy 3 is going to, like, dominate them i think that the samsung is the only phone that phone is the only competition that i would actually change for yeah and I, i'm due soon so it's a possible thought i gotta see how the phone really comes out <laughs> really already yeah no. believe it or not when we actually when we both know about something time <laughs> flies this is true go figure uh, okay six plus million oh crap yeah so fair warning if you are because i wrote it down if you are a member of eHarmony, LinkedIn, or Last.fm, you might want to go on your website and change your password around because over six million of those passwords, <laughs> bye bye for you. I have Hacked. all of those. You might want to go find a computer. What's a computer? I don't know. Yeah. Find one quick. Done. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> Yeah, so evidently, I think it was like in Russia or something. We really got a fumigate in here. Someone yeah. in Russia somehow got into these websites and said, Ooh, look at this cool file, yoink. Look at this cool file, yoink. It was oh, just look. passwords. Just username. So, so people are signed up for eHarmony for like a decade now. Yeah. <laughs> You've been there for a decade, all your credit card information is in there or whatever, and That's now it's like, woohoo. Mine. And people thought Mine. it was bad when 500,000 Macs were broken into. <laughs> Try 6 million. I think actually it was 6.5 million. I would go with 6. It's a round number. Again? You're out of time. Damn. Uh, Bing's new ally? Yeah. Bing is teaming up with Encyclopedia Britannica. Remember like, them? Like they used to make these things called books, and you could actually hold them and turn pages. I know it's like ancient history. 
book. 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 Good. I have them on my phone. They're PDFs. <laughs> things I don't know how to read. It's not that I can't. It's that I can't. Anyway. Well, you can't. Yeah. So seeing that you go to like Google or uh, whatever else, and the first thing is like, I'm going to look up uh, a car. First thing you pop up, what is it? Wikipedia. Yeah. Wikipedia. Yeah. Well, Bing is now allying themselves with Encyclopedia. Devil. What? The devil. The devil. So if you look up Rob. You're going to get the Wikipedia. You're, you're going to get the Wiki, Wikipedia page saying, this is Rob, and this is everything about Rob, and don't look at that picture. So It was him in Amsterdam. Bing comes out and says, well, instead of having everyone go to Wikipedia, let's have an ally with Encyclopedia Britannica. Which nobody the, knows what it is anymore. Yeah, any, anyone who was born after 90-something doesn't know what it is. So Exactly, you look exact it up. 90-something. Yeah, you look it up, and then you're going to get nothing. Encyclopedia Britannica. You're going fi- to find out about... Brontosauruses. Well, then a link that brings you to Google so you can find what you really want. Ah, the Wikipedia article. Good. Now, Facebook has come out with its own app center. I know. Why? Have you seen its stock? Like $1.50, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> but yeah, they have their own app center. It's like, okay, so you have Google Play, which is their version of the uh, iPhone app store. Well, just the Apple store and all mm. that stuff. So Facebook's like, we're going to jump on this bandwagon and make our own app store. And it's like, Why? Why would you? Why is this because a good Because they're idea? Facebook. Did I not call it? Their stock yeah, they're going to start doing mid-20s. stupid things to try to make. They're going to do things to make some money. The stock is going to go back up, and you sell. I'm a genius. Did you buy it? By the way, I am not a financial professional. Do not take any advice from me. He's not even a financial unprofessional. No, but he's here. Although I don't wear pants in the office. But he's wearing pants now. Yes. I am not wearing pants. You're welcome. You're wearing shorts. Well, they were pants. At uh, one point, then I got mad. And you. Just Hulk. Anyway, do you see a need for Apple, uh, for uh, Facebook to have an app store? No, I find it so pointless that I tried to change the subjects, but you brought me back to it. Well, we only had eight, six, five seconds left, so. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, we only got like two left. How many? So, one? Nine? Ah, oh, we have so Oh, well. My phone shut off. That's how much. Come you... back, phone. Come back. What, you, there, Kurt Schilling leaves again. Wait, that's right. Kurt what? Schilling, when he left, I think the Red Sox, right? Yeah. Okay. He left the Red Sox. He created a business called 38 Studios. Which actually made a really good game. Well, they're bankrupt. I know. So, yeah, Kurt Schilling has just said, hey, we have $20 million in assets, but we owe $125 million in other things. Whoops. Yeah. Business model. He doesn't have one. <laughs> climb, He's a really smart climb guy. the escalator and where's the top? Oh. <laughs> the escalator <laughs> to nowhere. Yeah. So I, I forget the name of the game that he actually came out with. It was pretty decent from what I understand. Yeah. But that was the only leg he had to stand on. Yeah, which is usually how video game places start, one game at a time. Well, he had the one at a time, but he didn't go anywhere from there, and now he yeah. basically fired everybody. Yeah. And now and they're just going into bankruptcy. Unfortunately, they were doing massive layoffs. and. Yeah. I, I actually heard an interview with him and, and a lot of people that talking about him, and he's like, he just feels terrible about it because... Well, I can understand he, that. I mean, it, he was interviewing it as something he really loved, but now oh yeah. because of whatever... He came out with one great game, and now for, gone. For, for those of you who don't know, oh. well, anyways, I'm going to say it anyways. I don't care, because for those of you who don't know, Kurt Schilling is really a nerd. He is. He really is. Super nerd. He actually cares about these things. Uh, what do we got next? Disney's holding back. Holding back what? DVDs. Why? Releases. What do you mean? Because. What are they releasing? Nothing. Why not? Because they're whores. Well, what are they holding back? Their DVDs. Of? Their movies. Which movies? All of them. Like everyone? Yes. Lion King? Yes. Aladdin? Maybe. Cinderella? Not that one. The Princess and the Frog? Wasn't that my biography? I don't know. I can't remember which one I was. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Me either. So Disney comes along and says, we want to sell more of our DVDs. We want to actually make more money than just giving it to Netflix and giving it to this and the rental places oh, like so Redbox. Oh, so they must love the Pixar deal with, uh, with Netflix then. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're loving it, all right? I they're am. trying to make money. They're trying to make money. Actually, that was part of it, too. They're going to start holding that back, too. Son of a... I know. I was looking forward to up and everything like that. No. No, don't look up. Keep talking. Oh. So, basically, by about another 30 days or so, Disney's not going to be releasing it to Netflix and Hulu or whatever else. So Son of a... You're going to have to wait. Because Disney is whoring it. Double fist. There's Ooh. a double fist. Ow. Because I like those movies. As sad as it is to say, I occasionally... What? What, what? Jay's going to work out. Which Jay? Me. 
You? <laughs> You're gonna what? I'm gonna work out. Why? Because. What's going on? <laughs> At E3. Yes, it is, and I'm gonna tell you why. Wait, why? At E3, they announced a new Zumba Fitness. What? For like Wii and uh, Connect and all that stuff. Okay. The kicker? Uh, Guess who's gonna be in it? You? Sarah Jean Underwood. Who's that? Oh. Who's that? Like one of the oh, hottest. Oh, it doesn't tell me who it is. One of the hottest Playboy playmates of like everness. Who she does naked yoga? She does the news on a G four. Wait, is naked yoga gonna be on Zumba? I hope so, because I'm gonna be really, I'll really buy, like, skinny. I'll buy eighteen copies. I'm gonna be really skinny. No, you can just watch the games. You do know this, right? No. Do you even have a connect? Shut up, Rob. Do you even have a connect? No, but I'll get one if I can see her. She's gorgeous. I. She she does news on a G four. During uh, Attack of the Show and all that stuff. She I does stopped the, uh, watching that after they started cover- stopped covering real stuff. After it was tech TV. But she's hot. Oh, she is, really? No. No. So you're going to spend 200 bucks. Ever- I'll- Never mind. Never mind. I ran out of my 69 seconds. <laughs> Internet Explorer was just announced to be coming to the 360. Oh. <laughs> I knew you were going to have that reaction, They're too. They're going to break the, inter- the, the internet gonna... and the Xbox. So Aww. along with uh, Microsoft... They've got Bing in it, and it sucks. Yeah, that, that's the thing. They've got Bing. They have Microsoft Music, also known as the Zoom. The Zoom which now like they're bringing Internet people. Explorer. But they're also going to have like a speech-to-text thing, so you can actually just yell at your Xbox. Like and I do already? Yeah, exactly. But is that like 12-year-old boys beating me in Call of Duty? Yes. So what they're doing is they're bringing Internet Explorer there so you can actually go on the Internet and go do all your web browsing. They're still on you. I don't know why. Oh, because I'm entertaining. (laughs) Evidently. So they said, how can we make this even more weird and give PlayStation something else to chew on? Let's throw Internet Explorer in there and let's see what else we can jack up. Oh, don't worry. I got stuff to talk about for PlayStation. Oh, good. Because they're screwing it up, too. Oh, good. Yeah. At least they're going together. Oh, wait. Are we out of time? Oh, look at that. Look at that. One more, and it is the Xbox Smart Glass. What the deuce? You missed one of mine. I did? Yeah. I, you said three things and you were done. All right, yours will be the bonus one. You'll be, <laughs> you'll be the bonus footage. Okay. Xbox Smart Glass is going to be an app that they're going to be releasing on both the Apple and Google platforms. Now, what is it? It is going to be an app that actually connects to your Xbox. Okay, good. Like, uh, do you remember the Wii U and how they said that like this thing is going to connect and you can like do all these things and it'll just talk back and forth? Yeah. Same principle, but it's going to be cross-platform for Google and Apple. And it's going to enhance the game. So if like you're playing a football game, you'll have the whole football thing up there. Yeah. But then your tablet is going to like have all the plays. You can actually use your finger to like actually draw new plays. Hmm. All kinds of interesting stuff like that. Question. Answer. Why don't they just come out with a new platform with better graphics? Well, they are. Oh. I think this, okay. I think this is the precursor too. Oh, so you, because I think they said, "Hey, Wii's coming out with this uh, Wii U thing. Why don't glass. we just make it generic and put it on all the existing things so we don't have to make our own?" All we have to do is make an app, and it connects. Done. Don't tell me they're going to make something backwards compatible. Careful with your thinking. Oh. Those are dangerous thoughts. For Xbox, yeah. So that's the last official one. Bing's new ally is still Encyclopedia Britannica. Okay, that's good. not the point. Or uh, we Actually, bonus time. Bo- Go with your story that okay. I evidently forgot. Sony to partner with HTC for PlayStation certified phones. Certifiable? Yeah, they're actually, uh, at, at this year's E3 Expo, go figure, um, Sony announced that they'll beginning, par- beginning, be- I can't begin mm-hmm. uh, partnering with HTC for their next generation of uh, PlayStation certified devices. Uh, lovingly re- rechristened? I thought I said rechristened. Uh, rechristened uh, the PlayStation Mobile. So basically, they're putting, uh, what was that you called it? Uh, Xbox Glass? That glass? Yeah, that thing. Into PlayStation but it's only with HTC phones, which, how long, does your, how long does your battery last? Eight minutes. So you will be able to play one game For on that. For five minutes. And then charge it, and then go back and you know, do it all over again in an hour and a half when it charges back up again. Yay. So, so much for Xbox screwing it up with Internet Explorer. They're, they're going with, just screwed it H- up with HTC. With HTC. Oh, we're going to go with the second larger platform. No, don't even bother with that. Just make it a good system. Guess what? People will buy it. No nope. problem. Short buzzer. Long short buzzer. <laughs> Long buzzer? Damn thing isn't. 
Rob, Rob's trying. Yeah. <laughs> Funny you say that. But anyway, I believe that's uh, all Dang. of our geeky news, unless we have something else that's going to randomly appear. Well, I do have something to talk about. Talk, please. But uh, it's not related to this. What? Um, there's good news on the, the movie. Oh, I... You crushed Brad. You... Wait. Oh. Oh. Brad. That's Brad. In memory of. Yeah. In me oh, I didn't do that. It wouldn't fit on the post-it. Um, you know how uh, the Avengers came out? Uh, what are the Avengers? <sighs> Is this some sort of uh, pop? The movie? Some sort of the tasty... It's a movie. Song? Movie? The, you remember what Disney's holding back? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's that's what this is. It's a movie. Ooh. Not by Disney. But I can't see it for another 60 days. Well, technically it is. It, technically it is. Yeah, good call. Good call, Rob. Good catch. Uh, it's going towards the job, job, wall. Dad. Oh, caught right in the warning track. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. So anyways, you know, you know what Avengers is? Made like a billion dollars? Like in 10 minutes. Literally a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Can you do the one billion for me? Because Brad's not here. One billion. Billion dollars. That is great, but I tried. Love the eyes. Um, well, Warner Brothers is uh, coming out with its Justice League movie. Y yay. Like Superman, Batman. Oh, that's pretty much the only two people that people would know. <laughs> Throw out um, the other names just so people would be like, who? But they, they I, I will. I'll get to that. Don't okay. worry. They, they hired Will Beale. You probably don't know him. Uh, he's, he's, he's the writer of the upcoming Gangster Squad. Uh, which will almost certainly not be like the Monster Squad. Which you probably still haven't heard of. Nope, probably not. Mm. Um, he's going to be writing the new script for the Justice League movie. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Justice League has been an on-again, off-again for the last decade and a half from them. It's like a dysfunctional relationship. Yeah, since like, Jurassic Park came out, they're like, we can finally make Superman. Oh my God, let's do it! Yay! And, and then they couldn't write it, and then they scrapped it. <laughs> So then they oh. brought it back, Yay. and then they scrapped it, oh. and then they brought it back, Yay. and then guess what? What? They scrapped it. Oh. But don't worry, they're bringing it back, Yay. because they saw what the Avengers did, and they're like, you know what? We're, we're, we want in on this cat. We're going to try this, because we got Superman, we got Batman, and like five or six other people <laughs> that people would love. Um, one of our dudes was in Entourage, uh, Aquaman, everybody knows him, right? Aquaman. Yeah. Talks to fishies. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's... He's also, now, what gives me promise is, is a lot of movies are going to be coming out before he finishes the Justice League script. Mm -hmm. uh, Beale's working on a new Lethal Weapon remake, so we can judge his writing Another by that. Another Lethal Weapon? Yeah, you got to figure Mel Gibson What's needs this more money. now, number five? I don't know. But there's also a Logan's Run remake. Hogan's uh, Heroes? No, Logan. Who's he? Log Logan. Oh, he's that airport up in Boston. No, anyways, for any of you who have actually watched Logan's Run, um, he's actually rewriting it. Um, I know. Good for you. Nerd. Um, the scary part about this is that his only writing credential is Castle, the TV show. Oh, that I have heard of. I never watched the it. The Castle's a great show. Okay. It's not Justice League. No. So I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's good that it's on the book. So, you know, it's, it's good news for, you know, geeks. Yeah. You get more superheroes because Superman's coming out. Batman's coming out. You know. Yeah, another Batman. Was this like Batman 12? This is the Batman 3. It? It's a whole new reimagining, my friend. Oh. Yeah. Just when I got to not know it, now it's changing again. Yay! One of these days we'll get you to the movies. Hey, did he happen to write the episode where he dressed up as Mal? <laughs> I hope he dressed... If he did, he gets credit. If he did, I'll, I, I'll have to look it up to see if it's the Halloween episode. Um, so that's really good news, right? Sure. All right, awesome. Sounds great to me. Uh-oh. What? The next news story. Did you snoo snoo? No, not here. <laughs> the, the next news story is not that good. Oh, then screw it. Next. No, I kind of want to read it. Oh, then read it. Oh, wait, do we want to tease first? No. Why not? Because it's not a tease. No, I mean about our uh, weekly top tray. What is our weekly top tray? I don't know. I thought you knew. <laughs> Quick, read another one so we can think of one. <laughs> um, well, Warner Brothers is already uh, bleeping up the Justice League movie. Oh, no. Oh, so we can have a swear-free environment. We can. Brad's um, not here to stop us and keep us in check. <laughs> so, bad news. Oh. This week, new, newest news, this just in. Um, after writing the Gangster Squad, we'll, we'll try to revive the Justice League script, but they're going to be going with Wonder Woman as the first one. 
I hope she's hot. I hope it's Sarah Jean Underwood. Well, no, that's not good. Sarah Jean Underwood in a Wonder Woman outfit? No, oh, no, yes, no. it would be. Because Believe they, you me. they also listed their other product projects in development. Okay. Flat? Uh, um, wait, wait, I have to do a Brad. Go on. Go on. Yeah, I got to practice that. Yeah. Um, so along with writing the Justice League movie, uh, doing some gangster squad, they also have in development Flash. Aquaman, uh, Green Arrow, Lobo, Bobo, The Suicide Squad, and Shazam. A bit overzealous, are we? Oh my god. How many projects was that, Jay? You were counting six. on one hand. No, that's a lot more than six. So we have Rebecca Lobo, who used to no, play no, no. basketball for UConn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight movies. I can't count either. Eight but... movies that they want to make. And Shazam, isn't that. Wasn't, that, wasn't Shaquille O'Neal in Shazam? No, it's the, well, actually, that's what it was called. It was Kazam. What was, was it called? It was Kazam. Oh. No, I'm pretty sure it was Shazam because it was Shaquille O'Neal. No, it was Kazam. You may be right. I um, may be crazy. But then we have a program that tells it, you what song is on the radio. What? No, that no, not Gangster Squad. Let's <laughs> talk about Pandora or Shazam. Aha! Ah, but eight projects. All yeah, that, that's putting a lot of eggs in a basket right All there. in development. Now, if you figure that each one they're going to put $200 million in, that's almost $2 billion. Not lying about that. It's $1.8 given the total projects, given that some of them may be over and how much they spent on Batman. Now, as far as also messing this up... <laughs> but what else could go wrong? Uh, what's his name? What guy who what plays Batman? Christian Bale. He Adam sa- West? No, not the original. Although he would be good in the movie. <laughs> um, I'm thinking so. That'd be one of... Uh... They, they, he said that he wouldn't be out for a Batman 4. Of course he wouldn't. It's a cash cow. Ooh. Why wouldn't he not want to do that? Exactly. So he said, I'd be up to doing that, but eh, this is a different universe right now. So they're looking at a different Batman. You want to know the Batman that they are looking at? Tell me. Ryan Reynolds. From? Green Lantern. Oh, that guy. Who is also in the Justice League. Oh, is he also de- he's also Deadpool. And he's also in Blade Trinity, which is also another comic book movie. Is this How? like a high school production? I, I don't okay, know. Okay, you're going to play this guy, but then you're going to change costumes and go play <laughs> that guy. And then you're going to go over there and play this person. And then you're going to dress up like a tree and just stand there. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's Deadpool. No. <laughs> so, and the video game Deadpool's funny. So he's playing four comic book characters. Two of, <laughs> two of which are in the same universe. <laughs> two of which... Is this an Eddie Murphy movie two all of a sudden? which are supposed to be in the Justice League movie. Which... Oh my god, my brain hurt when I read this story. <laughs> my brain hurts and I don't even understand how. I got it. excited when I wrote the first one. And I was going with the oldest stories to the newest stories. And then I scrolled up and I, it said, Warner Brothers is already bleeping up. Because I was at work, I had to quickly, quickly scroll past this. Effing. Um, yeah, effing up. The Justice League movie, and I thought, oh, God, it's only two days after this other one. Let me read about this. And, yeah, I read the whole debacle with them developing eight projects, and then them wanting to use Ryan Reynolds as the new Batman, mm. who plays Green Lantern, mm. which were both founding, founding members of the Justice League. So, the, yeah, <laughs> that either means that they're going to leave Ryan Reynolds as the Green Lantern or put him as the new Batman. Or kill the entire project before it's off the ground. Or, yeah, as Rob said, which they're probably going to do, Find out they can't write a good Wonder Woman script and scrap the thing for another five years. Wonder Woman. Meanwhile, Iron Man 3 is coming out. Thor 2 is coming out. Captain America 2 is coming out. They're, they're going to be doing a Black Panther movie. You know what the funny thing is? These are all spaced out every other year or so hmm. to lead yeah, up to be. another movie so that in about six years, because I think that's how long ago it's been since Iron Man came out, right. they're going to come out with another Avengers yeah. with maybe one or two new characters. That'd be cool. That's the smart way to do it, not to be like, oh, cash cow. Now, oh, cash cow, we're going to write everything at once. Now, who did the Avengers? Is that Warner Brothers? I don't know. I, Josh Whedon. Will Wheaton? No, Josh. Josh Wheaton? Josh Wheaton. Wheaton. Yeah, we're going to go with that. We're not getting into this again. Sorry. Rob, do you know who, which uh, studio did the Avengers? Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Well, I mean. Disney, yeah. It was Disney that yeah. did it? Oh. Marvel owns Disney. Really? Disney owns Marvel. Disney owns everything. Disney owns Marvel and Pixar. Well, they're partners with Pixar. And ESPN. Yeah. 
God, they're a monopoly. They are. But they're amazing at it. Well, you ever seen Epcot? Right. Epcot's awesome. Really? Yeah. Field trip. Not right now. We're kind of live. <coughs> yeah. We've been live for probably, I'm going to guess, God, it feels like four, four hours. <laughs> oh, 34 <laughs> minutes. Oh, no. God, where's Brad when you need him? Oh, Will Beal? Did, did, did not write that episode of Castle. He didn't? No. He, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this just in. William Beal did not write uh, the episode of Castle, which had the greatest reference of all to Firefly. So he loses all credentials. He's going to be scrapped for another three to five years. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. But he tried. Not really. He's no. just probably getting paid a ton of money for the scripts. That's true. I really hope he's not trying to write all of these. Because if they're like, hey, we want you to do all this. Also, Flash, Aquaman, Green Lantern, Lobo, The Suicide Squad, and Shazam. Now, if you want that, you hire J. Michael I don't know who that is. Oh, know who that is. Okay. Wait, how, did, how has Catwoman not had her own movie? She has. She did? She did? Yeah. When? Uh, I forgot how bad it was. Five <laughs> years ago? Really? Yeah. Halle Berry was in it? She's hot. <laughs> oh, no. Not on that? No, for like five seconds. Oh. It's like, oh, I'm going to wear a shredded cat costume and go do one cool thing. And the rest of the movie, act like a freaking lunatic. Yeah, she's, she acts like a cat the whole movie, like licking people and jumping up. No, no, it was both, actually. <laughs> Gothica sucked, too. I say Holly Berry. Yeah. Psychotic and licking no. people. No. Well, that, no. It's a fetish thing. No, but she looked homely at that point. Oh. Yeah. I think like Monster's Ball version of, uh, like, you know, Charlize Theron. Monster. It was Monster. Remember Monster? Charlie Theron? I think so. Yeah, she was. I'm mixing the monsters up. You, you remember, you remember uh, Monster? I, I, I How was Charlie so. Theron? She kind of looked up like halfway between Halle Berry and that. Which I don't I have no idea how that was Charlie Theron. And then She's hot she became Catwoman. It's like, oh, I cut my hair and I put on skin tight leather. Well, you're hot. Look at that. Instantly makes Halle Berry hot. Mm, Stop Halle thinking Berry. about it, please. No, I can't. Okay. So... I have a funny, I, <laughs> I saw this on the news today, and I think this is a uh, ha-ha story. Even though it's bad, it's still funny. Ha-ha. I think it was in, actually, oh. it's Connecticut local, and it happened, I believe, in Manchester, where somebody robbed a chicken of a flag. Did you see Excuse that? Excuse me? Did you happen to see that? I think that's on here. Is it really? It just happened, like, today. I, w I was good. Come on. Do we have a Grand Theft Chicken? I don't know. I, well, actually, you know what? I read it and I didn't put it on here. Uh huh. So, so what's, if you explain <laughs> from the department of you can't swear warning, you can't make this shit up department. There's a woman. I think it was a woman. I didn't. I couldn't tell. I was at work, but I'm pretty sure it was a woman was dressed up in a chicken costume as a you know display for a business, mm -hmm. and the chicken had an American flag, and they're you know doing their usual thing, handing out this, doing that, and the other thing. Somebody actually ran across the street. Stole the flag, like a little American flag, you know, no more than that big. Stole the flag from the chicken <laughs> and then booked. So why would he steal it? I don't know. Oh. I think it's just the fact that you can go to your friends and get no street cred saying, I stole this a flag, flag from, from a, a chicken. chicken. Because Maybe. How many times in your life could you go and tell somebody, I stole a flag from a chicken? I think I know where he got it from. You have not. Totally. He hasn't done Who it. Who were the two chickens? Okay. And uh, Colonel Sanders. Wow, he really did steal flags from two chickens. What are the odds? I don't doubt it. It's Rob. Yeah, also, he, he does some weird ass stuff. Yeah. It's the hair. That's true. Yep. I think hair gives you power. Crap. Or, or saves power. I'm not really sure. Well, either way, you and me, my friend, are kind of humped. I wish. I ate what? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I was going to mention something. Uh, Brad was on the phone, right? He, he said he was going to do our top three, right? No. No, just say yes. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, so top three things we'd like to see Brad do. And he's not here to say no, so top three things we're going to we Real, real see. producer of the show? Do you agree that that's our top three? I think it should be. Okay. I want to see Oh, this is a can of worms. Actually, speaking of Brad. Brad. Do we, do we want to see? He actually did send us pictures. We, we didn't know if he was alive after this because of the said pictures. No. Oh. But he did send us a few pictures, like a dozen or so, give or take Good. ten. Cool. 
So, uh, Dozen Rob? or so, maybe ten. Robert? Rob? Oh, okay. So, he may have sent them so to us. So, for, for those of you that don't know or didn't hear last week or didn't care, Brad and a couple of our, all of our mutual friends went out to... I don't know any of them. I don't even know Brad. That's true. Yeah. Went out to the Plain States of Midwest to go amateur tornado chasing. I.e. just driving around in a car. Basically wasting yeah. dozens of tons of fuel. Yep. And time. <laughs> wasting time and money and precious fuel. While using, up it, while using his iPad to be like, ah, there's a tornado over here. But, <laughs> but we're, we're over, over here. here. <laughs> How far is that, Brad? It can't be far. Well, it only looks like it's 500 miles. <laughs> we can do it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the system. There's a great wrong. burger place on the way. <laughs> uh, Brad, if we're chasing the storms, we probably shouldn't stop for food. <laughs> it's like, God, <laughs> but I'm, it's funny you should mention that. But I'm hungry. Today, yes. He, he was like, we're here. The storms are 700 miles away. <laughs> ah, I called it. So instead of going north, they should have gone south. Have you ever seen that voice sent in direction? <laughs> yes, yes. In Hawaii. Yeah. We oh, have, God. We have to go this way. Uh, Brad, where are we? I don't know. Why is there a cow staring at me? And he has a pilot's license. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a pilot's license. That's very, very little known fact about Brad, which is still very little known. Good luck, Nick. Oh, crap, that's right. What are you doing next week? Well, I'll fly. Don't worry. I don't have my license. <laughs> His direct, Who, well, who's going to pull you over up there? Can I see your license and registration, please? <laughs> yeah. Well, his directions, when, when, when he let me kind of fly the planes, like, fly at that mountain. <laughs> uh, Brad? Brad, there's mountains all around us. You may want to, like, tell me to, like, the first thing you should tell me, not fly into that mountain. He's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, well, you know what I meant. We're really far away from him. like... Yeah, you meant fly into that mountain. Well, thanks for those instructions. <laughs> what do I do? How I do I do it? Yeah. Just hold this and just fly at that mountain. Yeah. Has the mountain wronged us in some way where we must exact revenge? <laughs> yeah, pretty this much. This makes no sense. Yeah, then we flew in between two mountains and then we landed. By the way, he descended really quick and I like got a migraine headache from it. <laughs> Anyways, but go, go on. He's, you know, we were talking about Brad and pictures. and. Yeah, so we said, well, Brad, while you're out there... You gotta send us some pictures of tornadoes or a cow or a cow in a tornado and flying around. Oh, you know? that'd be so cool. That would be great. Yeah. As long as the cow is okay. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, we don't like animal cruelty. No, we're, we're animal no. lovers here, yeah. so. Especially with the fried. Mmm, <laughs> fried cow. Deep fried. Moo cow. Do they make deep fried cow? They will in about 200 days. Whoa, deep fried hamburger? Mmm. Deep fried. Did we do that? Didn't we do like a. A Mac of large. A Mac of large. I don't want to infringe. <laughs> oh, God. Or a purr of wops. <laughs> so, okay. So, do we have the pictures from Brad? Yeah. Awesome. Ooh, I want to see, too, because I haven't seen them yet. Let's go. Okay, here's... Oh. Brad actually had to grow his hair back just because of the of wind the... and everything else. And if you look all the way in the background, about 700 miles away... There, there's a tornado. He there's a tornado. For. He's with somebody. So he's like, hey, it's a tornado. Now, here's, uh, here's two cute girls that he somehow like, got to pose for a picture with him. And he's doing like some weird porn move. I really don't know what this is. I think he was trying to be Travolta in that one. Uh, I don't, or he really threw I his don't, back out. I think he yeah. threw his back out. It might have. The tornado might have whipped like a tractor at him or something. And, <laughs> and Brad, the, Brad's a big guy, so he probably just he stood there and took it. He took it for the team. And the it, team he, of the two girls that are pointing in two different directions. That's right. They, they don't know really where there's a tornado, yet Brad is probably blocking it. He saved the two cute girls that he now found out are underage. <laughs> so and I, I, I can see them. They're the like, family. it's over there. It's over there, Brad. Ah! <laughs> you can one look at the team. Ah! I hope I get a hug for this. <laughs> uh, he and didn't. Then, oh. Now, here, here's look, Brad. Green. Looking a little green now. but Yeah. Well, this he, is due he to, just got pegged in the back with a tractor. Yeah, I'd probably be a little uh, colorish myself. And he, he found, so an, he found another, another girl. Another decent looking girl. Yeah, well, I don't know from where what I can tell. So we can't find anyone here to save his life, but he no. goes out to chase tornadoes. and He just finds there's women. There's chicks everywhere on the side of the road. Well, there's only like 10 in the state, so he stopped at each one. So... Is that a fact? Yeah. There's only 10 girls. Well, in the there's entire... 15. Cause I think three... is, that, is that actually Kansas? I, uh, no, that's Wyoming. Is it Wyoming? I have no idea. I think there's a cow. I'm terrible at geometry. So That's true. Anyways, you can see that again, if you can't a tell, girl and a there's Brad. Brad and a girl and, oh yeah, in the background, a tornado. Still. Not so, oh. This that... one was a little closer than he realized. Yeah. 
<laughs> he this was one is slightly about to kill him. He, I can see him thinking, okay, I'm going to turn around the LCD so I can see the... Oh, my God! I want to see. I want to see what it looks like. Ah, click. Oh. So, yeah, that that's that's only like an F1, but still enough to shat your pants. Which, when it's that close and you're Brad. And yeah. I can tell, I can see in Brad's eyes that there's no reflection of a vehicle anywhere. So, he'd been walking for a while. Yeah, so the people he went with said, F this, I'm out of here, and floored it. Hey, you guys! It's like, that's where he is right now. I, I, I didn't think they'd really do it. Yeah, it looks like he got... Uh, now he's happy. Yeah, he's getting cocky now. Yeah, he's like, look at me. I just survived that last one now. Ah, you can't get me. Ah. He's like doing the what up type thing going there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Either that or they uh, are trying to bait him into the car to get the hell out of there with a cheeseburger. <laughs> a tasty, uh, delicious cheeseburger. Well, well it, you know, in uh, in he's in Iowa. Um, oh, in this one? Yeah. I don't see any corn. Uh, we, it's getting blown away by the tornado. Oh. Um, they're, they're like, look, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac. <laughs> Come on, Brad, get bacon, in the car. We've got to get out of bacon, here. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Little did they t know, little did he know, uh -huh. bacon strips by dogs, for dogs. No. You but, think he knows the difference, though? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> He's just like, I'm ah. Like, ah. Oh, so there's Brad being uh, being. I just thought it was for our top three. Hey, though. that's not a tornado. Yes, it is. It is a tornado. No, that, that's a plane. Yeah, a tornado. It is a tornado. No, that can't be a that's its name, Tornado. What is? The plane. The plane where? I see Brad. Brad's head. That's Rob's plane. He named it Tornado. That doesn't make any sense at all. It Brad does. looks a little shocked in that picture, though. That's true. You know, but that, that he's actually seeing a plane it, called it, Tornado that is a tornado. If you were about 13 feet away from that, what is that? An F what? Uh, make up something. No one will know the difference. Uh, F4. 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 That's an F4. And it's an F4. F4 tornado. So it is an F4 tornado. Oh. Get it? Ah. Uh, um, and so then, yeah. then there's Brad going, oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> we told Brad it was just a model. Imagine yeah. a shock when it took off <laughs> yeah. at like some Mach super one. mega speed. Yeah, it spun the earth like Superman <laughs> back in time a little bit. And then it dropped a bomb. Uh, do we have any more? Oh, uh, See, th this is the epitome of being cocky. Yeah. He's sitting there like... What's up, Tornado? Yeah, what up, Tornado? What's what are you up? doing? What do you, you got? I'm scared? This what is you, nothing. What do you got? I got I got an SUV. I don't know where it is, <laughs> but I got one. You already sucked it up and threw it across three counties, but that's not the point. What, son? Drop me a cow now. I need some burgers. That's what I'm he's hungry. thinking. That's Drop he, me a pig. I want me some bacon on my pig cow tornado burger. Yeah, that's it. That's him. He is he is in his element right now. He really is. It's like I will not move. I am the immovable wall. It's actually like serene. Yeah, she he, looks he, kind he's of. just like. Muyanba. No, no, no. Again, he's like sup tornado. <laughs> you ain't getting anywhere he's near me. He's all wing out to the tornado. Well, pff, look at him. He's he's clearly not wearing pants. He, 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 <laughs> Those are tiny whiteies. I'm yeah. pretty sure. He just he's rocking out the boxes right now. He's like, what, son? I hung these around my ankle. Can't even get my because I took my belt, strapped it around that thing to a pole. I saw this in a movie. <laughs> it was named after you called Tornado. <laughs> Is he mooning the tornado? Uh, no, he actually. I think in, those could be his assless boxers. In all reality, uh, he described this picture to me. Yes, it, I'm gonna be serious here. He pooped his pants and he had to take them off. <laughs> So he is just wearing boxers there. I don't know how he missed the boxers and went to the pants, but he did it. It might have had direct downfall. Yeah. Like brick level. <laughs> or was going so fast initially, and then it hit the boxers and slowed down and hit the pants. Had that's that happened. Be. That's I, happened. I, oh, ooh. that was him pooping his pants. <laughs> um, as he was just like, oh, I'm so angry, you tornado. You're so close, but so far. You know, that doesn't look like 700 miles, but it is. That's really that, that's actually, a huge tornado. That That's another state away. That is actually, do you, you know where that picture's taken? Connecticut. Guatemala. Really? Yeah. I thought he was in Connecticut, but the tornado was actually like in the Dakota somewhere. No, no, well, the tornado is in uh, Nigeria. Really? Yeah. Wow. For any anybody who actually knows geometry, please tell me how close I am. Because, yeah. You haven't noticed I've been calling you that the whole time? <laughs> Where have you been? Jeez. I, I want to know the zoom on that camera first. Uh, you don't want to know the zoom on that camera. <laughs> we might have stolen the Hubble. Yeah. We laid it down. It was like Brad stand right in front of it. And that's an actual... Brad, Brad hijacked the Hubble. Oh, I just thought of something. What if we actually have somebody watching this on like a 50-inch 50, 50 screen? How big is Brad's head right now? <laughs> 
Oh my god! First if, of if, all, if, if you you're watching this, screen, why are you watching? If us? you're watching this and you have a huge TV, please measure the circumference of Brad's head <laughs> in relation to the tornado. That'll help us figure out what you know how big that tornado actually is, considering that it's in Nigeria and he's in eucalyptus. eucalyptus. So. Really, just send it to us at uh, you know ns. What is it? Facebook.com forward slash NSLS TV. Yes. Had to get the shameless plug in there. I worked all that way just for that one thing. <laughs> that was a long and road to get to that. Please destination. tell us how big is his head on an 80 inch TV. If you own an 80 inch TV, tell us what it's like to own an 80 inch. Please TV. email me at pat at nsls TV, and I will be coming over to your house to watch. Enough of angry face, Brad. He's uh, he's gonna gorilla out here. Is there either a next picture, or are we all done? Oh. Hey. So now he's mocking the tornado. He's doing like the Fonz maneuver. Hey, you call this a tornado? This, this isn't a this tornado. Ain't a tornado. This ain't a tornado. <laughs> Please, son. I've been, I've been. Oh, he's going gangster again. He can't go gangster. He's Fonz. He just. Hey, hey, he's the Fonz. This ain't a no tornado. I'll just talk my way out of this. Somebody just like uh, what I can tell what happened in this picture. Right now, a pizza pie just kind of dropped out of the sky at his lap. He's like, hey. hey. When a tornado's <laughs> around, these things happen. I'm now Italian. <laughs> well, I am Italian, but now I'm more Italian. And he's Greek, so it does count, right? A Greek Italian? A Greek Italian. Great Italian. <laughs> or, or eek. Eek? I teek. Uh, I see you pee. No. Oh. Ooh, what would happen if Brad peed in towards a tornado? I mean, I've heard of peeing into the wind. Well, that's a lot of wind. <laughs> what if you peed into the tornado? If you peed into a tornado, would, would it actually would, just whip it whip around, around and just hit you in the face? Hit you at like 100 miles an hour, Brad? From the opposite direction. Call Brad. That's one of tell, our top three. Tell Make <laughs> Brad pee into a tornado. Oh, that's going to be part of it. <laughs> oh, Brad has to pee into a top. Oh, we're out of pictures? Okay. okay, good, good. Because I was having fun making fun of Brad. Oh, oh it's best episode ever. Beating the up Brad on Free, beating up Brad. Now we're going to make him do things show. Oh, yeah. Well, that might be an honorable mention because that might be harder to do. I say wear clown makeup on the show. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, we got oh, more we pictures. Got more. Uh, oh, oh. This does not look anything like a tornado. Is this one of those uh, side of the road attractions? It, it looks like no. This is two children of the corn. Uh, it's a pretty girl that's like, oh my god, like what am I doing here? Is that Cinderella? And Brad going, oh my god, it's two children of the corn and some other random lady. Wait, wait, that's dominatrix Cinderella because she has a choke chain. Oh, I did not. Good catch. Like that. Good catch. And wow. that's why Brad is scared because he's smart. He realized that. He's not scared of the two children of the corn. He is scared of that Cinderella. That's true. Because they don't go, Cinderella. I don't know the song. Cinderella. Deb, sing the song. Does that mean he's, he's, about, no, to okay. get, he's about to get spanked with a paddle, isn't he? Well, or he is getting spanked with a paddle. paddle, you mean like she's going to pick up one of the kids and hit him? That yes. could be. Um, I thought it was like one of those wooden paddles with like oh, a little hook. Oh, oh, he crashed oh, the van. See. That's what happened. See, that's that's not um, that's not this trip. That's Hawaii. That is, I remember that. Yeah, that was his. He got insurance, thankfully. Thank goodness. And uh, he's like, guys, I want to go up Mauna Kea, but I hit a jungle. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. What I to tried do. to go up Mauna Kea through the botanical gardens. Yeah, it didn't work. Turned out <laughs> trees and mud everywhere. Also, that's monkey poo. Is it? Yeah. Wow. I know. You see that little handprint on the side? I do. Yeah, monkey. A monkey did They that? were throwing it at him, and one of them got too close and actually hit his hand on the door. Wow. And uh, lo and behold... That's an angry monkey. Yeah. Well, it's a big monkey, too. Did, did he take, like, a little alternate route before going back to the tornadoes? Yeah, he I'm went... I'm trying to figure out how he got here. Well, he didn't. That's in Hawaii. That's us in Hawaii. You don't remember that? This must have just been inserted. Uh, oh, what? Oh. Who... Wow. Wait. Brad is... Stalking this person? I, I can't believe Brad's that close to a woman. I can't believe somebody, the woman let Brad that close to him. That's true, too. I thought the restraining order specifically said not to. I think she's like eyeing to the security guard, help! <laughs> That's what she's, she's reaching out for salvation. And Brad's sitting there like, <laughs> wait. Wait, what? Isn't that the woman with the blue hair thing from the fifth element? I have no idea. Could be. She's pretty. She, she's and Brad just sitting there, <laughs> lady. I don't know what to do with a girl. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and stare. Or play Halo. 
Uh, oh, oh, oh! He's in his cocky pose again. Oh no! Showing he, a little more skin. Brad is and in his element. Notice there. how the fish is eyeing <laughs> the, the the Brad numbness zone. <laughs> Fishy has not eaten in a while. Fishy sees. Fishy, sees Fishy can feed village for a lifetime. <laughs> Burgers. Mm. Who want to try land food? Um, nom, nom, who, nom. who knew flounders were actually carnivorous? I did when, not when know. When it that. comes to Brad, yeah. And uh, again, this is a very awkward time for him to be doing this because now he has three kids. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you go to Kansas. That's true. Yeah. There's just kind of. A yeah. Look at him. Three kids. Either that, or we really should check on him. Is that Stonehenge behind him? Um. Well, with uh oh, Angry uh -oh. Brad. Again, Angry Brad. What does it say? But now you, with Buzz Lightyear. You must be this tall, at least this tall, to play. Oh. And Brad's angry now. Remember when I said he's smart? Oh, he got kicked out of the ball pit on this one, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could tell. After he killed that third kid, they just had to kick him out. Well, yeah, because he was trying to belly flop. That's true. You don't belly flop into a, in a, into a the kiddie pit. pool. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that, that's frowned upon. Yeah. I found that out the hard way at a McDonald's play zone. <laughs> they really don't like it when you do that. Uh, I still owe money for that slide I uh, broke. Uh, wait, where's Brad? Well, Wait. Oh, he's next to the dude with the, the light blue shirt. He's wearing that blue cap. Oh, there. Yeah, the bow tie. Oh, yeah, he's got he the is. bow tie. I see. Yeah. He's kind of pale, though. He is kind of pale. He's got really, really full lips, though. Um, is that what you call it? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Wait, no, that's not Brad. He doesn't have, he doesn't have black eyes. With... On the other side of the picture. Oh, oh, there he is. Are you sure? Oh, on the far right. Look at him. He's sitting there like, hey, guys. How's it going? I, I still can't. Can you get up and actually point to it for me? Far right, far right, Brad. Or no, I, I'm Jay. He, I, I, go point to him for me. I, I can't. Yeah, you can't. No, I can't. Come on. No. Do it. You, can you seriously not see him? This isn't a Where's Waldo. He's easy to spot. Oh, oh, all oh, the... Ah, wait, I see it now. <laughs> There's a studio light reflecting. I couldn't see him. Ah. Uh, Is that girl sitting on his head? Maybe. Oh. Oh, good for him. Picking that, up the three-year-olds. Well, that's legal in hey. Canada. It's legal in Canada. That's true. Ha ah, pondering Brad. Does anybody see any cute boys here? Nope, don't see nothing. Mmm, my time to shine. <laughs> Ladies. Creepy stalker Brad. Redhead, redhead, blonde. Somebody slept with a milkman. <laughs> um, and or then, UPS, depends on the day. And then Brad. <laughs> see, it, One it, of these things just ain't like the other. Brad was helping them look for something, but... What he didn't realize is he was just thinking about things, and they're all trying to find like their parents. Yeah. And he's just like, hmm, I wonder, wonder what would happen if I strapped a bunch of like tutus onto my airplane. Would it make <laughs> it fly better? Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for something too, by the way. Oh right. Oh, yep. Brad. Oh. oh no, the Walker. The at at. The the the. Ew, or boy. the ATAT. -AT. I don't even. I don't know if they officially call it an at at. It's an at at. At at. Um, so Brad, Brad was in Star Wars, for those of you who didn't know. Actually, it's Star Tours. It's a cheap knockoff. Of, oh, yeah. I get it. So they can't get sued. That's right. He does know that's fake, right? Uh, I don't think he does because it's pretty much taking aim at him and it's going to kill him. Well, you can clearly see his tonsils. Is Tonsil. that what those are? That's what they call them these days. Um, I thought those were lower. No, those are balls. Oh. Not that too low. Then wait. belly button. That's a belly button. Is that where they keep that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. So we have Ranger Mickey. With really with, high pants. With really high pants. With random Asian chick and some artsy fartsy guy. And Brad. And Brad. Going. Hey. 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 He's in his Fonz pose again. Um. There's something re weird with Brad in this picture. Can you spot it? Yeah. He. His other hand is not seen. No. Other than that. Oh. Look where his body would be. Stop staring at her boobs. Wait, what? <laughs> Look where his body would be. Yeah. In between Mickey and the girl. Uh-huh. Where's his body? OMG. Oh, yeah. See, Is I figured... Is Brad really an Asian woman? I figured... Oh, dear Lord. Oh, boy. She is trying to grab his ha-ha. She's, She's, She's going for it. She's going for the kill. The, the sneak move. Yeah. And either either da Brad is dancing, or I'm gonna also still go with he got hit in the back with a tractor. He because he's kind of doing this, that. Ugh. Yeah, if this is Disney, he either got hit by a tractor, 
Or in a small plane. Or, or Because cartoons hit. like to fly planes, I found. Cartoons, but these are real people. Mm. What's with Brad scoring all the chicks? Yeah, serious. This is ridiculous. I can't get a chick to talk to me, and he's getting like all these little McHotties over here. Yeah, I mean, who knows how old they are, but still. They're like 10, but what? nonetheless, attention's attention. Listen, when what? you add them all up. Yeah, if they're both 10, it equals 20, right? Right. That's got to count. No, it doesn't, actually. It's still illegal. Really? Yep. Even, even nope. in what? In still illegal. In all states? Nope, still illegal. Even in like well, not Alabama? Mississippi. Mississippi. Mississippi? Yeah. Sweet. Um, and that's the late show is going to Mississippi. No, you are, you per. Yay me. I'm oh. going to Mississippi. Ah, Ooh, hello. We're back. Hello. Hi. Oh, we have one more. We have one more bonus prep. picture. Ooh. So, top three things. Now, I think we revise the top three things we want to see Brad do on the show. Ooh. I'm voting clown makeup. Clown makeup's a good one. I'm voting clown makeup. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. I, I want to I see him wear a tutu. Wear a tutu. Wear a tutu. With 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 actual <laughs> other clothing. Preference that. No, just a tutu. Oh, dang. <laughs> uh, oh, no, if you're going to go, you're going to suck it up and deal with it for one day for the ultimate. I have to sit there, my friend. Yeah, away from him. He's all the way over there. Uh, if anybody has one of those. That is not making those... the top three. <laughs> If anybody has one of those like screen things that we Please, can just go, like a part, I need a partition. I need yes, a full exactly. Partition, so I cannot see him. I didn't want to say an Asian screen because I know that they use them in Asia a lot, but I don't know if that's the actual name of it. I don't want to sound racist because I'm really not. We'll just call it a screen. Okay. Or go partition. Partition. Okay. That so sounds good. So Brad and a tutu only. Brad and tutu. Brad and clown makeup. Uh, just Brad and a dress. I think that'd be nice. Just a dress. A sundress. You gotta be careful with sundresses. Those are very see-through. Well, he can wear underwear underneath. I don't know what. You the... know, Brad. He won't wear underwear. <laughs> you know this. Um, don't act surprised. All at the same time? No, not all at the same time. <laughs> no, but that'd be the bonus. I want to see Brad pull uh, a blue man, and just be like Ooh. a color the whole just, show. So we can be paint uh, his arms, paint his entire head. <laughs> you know, just, just be one solid color the whole show. Even better, green. So you can green screen his entire body. <laughs> I, I have the shirt. What's I, I have the shirt. I have the green screen shirt. We'll just paint him with lead-based paint. It'll stay on good. Yeah, that, it, it won't come off. Yeah. That would be really cool. Yeah, I think that, that I think that's a good one. What, what do you got, Jay? What else? Ooh. What would you like to see him in? <laughs> or what would you like him to see? Oh, we can also just do do. What would we like to see him do? I mean, I would just want to see him wear certain things. I'm weird like I that. want to get... <laughs> you want to get we Brad don't condone this, but it would be funny. I don't care who you are. Want to get Brad drunk? That's another one. <laughs> I'd love to get Brad drunk and then get him on the show just to see how he'd react. No, another one. Give him a special brownie. Before the show, let it kick in, get him on the show, and see what happens. <laughs> There's only one problem with that. What's that? You'd have to bring a plate of brownies. <laughs> and you know Brad won't stop at one. Oh, that's fine. Like, I'm the guy, more I'll, 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 I'll let it blow for just one of these. <laughs> Why am I this still so, so hungry? So good. How oh, these are delicious. We need we need another cake. <laughs> we need another cake baked for us. <laughs> we need nine cakes baked for us. And we end up at the emergency room at the end of the show. <laughs> Whatever. As long as we can bring a camera with us, we'll, we're fine. We'll think it's Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the bed goes up and down. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> It'll be amazing. So, so it, drunk, Brad, or high, Brad? Or, so inebriated, Brad. Under, Otherwise, under the influence, under the influence Brad. Brad. Under the influence, yeah. Brad. That would be really cool. That would be fun. I think the alcohol will be a much, much more likely candidate than the uh, I don't special know. brownie. I mean, we can just tell him it's cake. <laughs> we can seriously just do that. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I'd feel about tricking him, but it would be funny to see. It would be funny to see. Uh, this, is, this is our top three. He yeah. has nowhere to talk. Uh, if he wanted to be part of this top three, he could have been here if he Too bad to. he agreed to do these, too. Yeah. God, it sucks for him. Too bad he just doesn't know it yet. Oh, well. Oh, Ooh. well, his loss. So, what else uh, do you want to see? Anything you guys want to see him do? No. Control. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is fantastic. Wait, was I there for that? Uh, no, that was, that, was the, that was the one you were out. Oh. You guys got to meet Captain America... We asked him to Bond. put on your helmet just to make it like you were there. You got to meet Iron Brad? We did. 
And no. and you got to meet dude what was in Thor J. That's not, not Thor J. That's the Indian version, Thor J. No. Was that D. Snyder? It was. You got Actually, to meet D. D. Snyder? Yeah, D. Snyder came in. Look at that hair. He has not lost a step. No, he, he's a... Uh, I don't know what he's holding or pointing to. But If uh, it's D. Snyder, he's like pointing to the rock gods. Of course. Yes. All I can tell is That's Captain man. America looks tall in that picture. That's true. Yeah. He is a very tall guy. He is. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, I did not know that picture was coming up. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to see Brad put on uh, one of those costumes and go walking up and down the Main Street Marketplace in Torrington when it comes back. <laughs> or do the cart. <laughs> no, this thing you want to see Brad do, yeah. not stuff you yeah. want to see us do. No. What about the car show? Have Brad go up and down the car <laughs> show as Tony Stark? <laughs> oh my god. Pardon <laughs> me, good citizen. Does your car need detailing? In a May I wash your window? In a tutu. In a tutu. <laughs> Wait, he can't be a superhero and in a tutu at the same He's tutu time. He's tutu man. Tutu. Dude, don't question it. Is that the Avenger that's coming out? <laughs> no, actually, uh, that Green Lantern is. Oh, is he? Yeah. Uh, who knew? <laughs> no lie there, folks. DC decided to make a uh, gay superhero. I had Aquaman all the way. It's Green Lantern. Yes, wow. I think he was the front runner. Well, he is the one wearing the jewelry. What does that have to do with anything? Just saying it's a little indicator. <laughs> Hanging around with three dudes that are, you know. What about Batman? He's got all those toys. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't have to be gay for that. You can just stay at home. <laughs> uh, Superman wears his out underwear on the outside? It's because he lost a bet against Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that. Aquaman talks to fishes and wears gold. That's just mental. And has a hook for a hand? That's mental health problems. Oh. Talking to fish. I can go get an aquarium and talk to fish, too. Or I, or I can go to the seafood department of, like, What about the, the Flash? His name says it all. Huh. How fast he is or how fast he does things or... That, that's his own thing. Uh, he can learn self-control. Hold on. How many movies are they writing here? Who else do we have left? There's, like, nine. <laughs> um, I got like, a ton to pick from. And eight of them that we've never heard... I've what, never heard of. What about of. Green Arrow? You didn't think Green Arrow could, could be I don't even know who he is. Okay. These are like the... Uh, he teamed up with Green Lantern for a while. Well, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That was the worst idea ever. Who's Lobo? Uh, is that like the uh, Hispanic don't like ask. superhero? No. I don't well, know Lobo why. Lobo means... Isn't Lobo like wolf or something? I don't know. I don't speak like, like Spanish. Or I do actually Native speak American Spanish, or? but I don't know. I don't know. No say, no say. Habla Espanol. The Suicide Squad? That kind of seems like completely pointless. Uh, the hmm. su Suicide Squad apparently is a lot like the Gangster Squad, but anyways. Wouldn't so, they just like off themselves at the beginning of the book and they're done? Back to topic. Top three things we want to see Brad do. Oh, yeah. I see clown makeup. <laughs> Makes a list. I'm excited to see that. I think we can get him to do it. Now, are we having like a professional clown come in and put him in clown makeup? Or is he going? Or are we going to do it for him? Oh, we're him? doing it for him. Oh, we're <laughs> I'll let you do one side, you do the, I'll do one side, you do Ooh. the other. Let's make him grow his hair back, and then, actually he already has his hair back from the pictures as we saw. Yeah. Let's give him a mohawk when he comes back. And make him go to work with it. Uh, Brad with a mohawk, come on. That's got to have some comedic value. Can he get the mohawk? I don't know. Yeah. Let's give him a, a complete reversal mohawk and just go like this. Oh, the landing strip. The <laughs> you want the landing strip. Which is appropriate for him. Yeah. That's true. We can, we can do landing strip. So, so I, I, the landing strip. I say clown makeup because I want to see it. Oh, oh, wait. Here it is. Okay. And I think I, if you would pitch in, I would actually pay for it too. Okay. Have him go 40-year-old virgin live on the air. Wait, does he have chest hair? It's got to be something there. He's got to have hit puberty by now. It's Brad. That's true. I still think it'd be funny. I don't know if Just I want to see hop. that. Well, you've seen it on video for the last 10 years. What's the difference? The problem seeing is, it? is that I, I, I've seen him in those videos take his shirt off. <laughs> yeah, but there's no hair. Dude is hairless on the chest. So he hasn't hit puberty yet? No. Hmm. That's a show title, too. 
Brad hasn't hit puberty yet? No, dude is hairless on the chest. <laughs> Put it as one of the possibilities. And also, Sup Tornado. I think that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good show title, too. Um, but anyways, so I, I, so I vote Monocolor Brad. Oh, going for the... Blue, Mo- just boom, the, green. The color man group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh... Tutu. Tutu. Clown makeup. Well, if it's Tutu, it's got to be Tutu. Just. I'll let it go Tutu. Right. Just Tutu. Just Tutu. Iron Brad. Walking <laughs> down the street doing it. Inter- at Kineticon. Iron Brad. But that's expected. Well, yeah, we'll all go in costume for that one. Oh, absolutely. We'll have Wonder Woman. I mean, we got Rob back there. Sorry, I wasn't going to be around. <sighs> yeah. Then just wear the costume anyways. Some of the bitches leaving us. Uh-huh. Some of the bitches leaving us. When? Kineticon weekend. Why? Because he sucks. Okay. Mm. So, anyways, Iron Brad. Mm-hmm. I'm talking car show. I'm talking pumpkin chunkin'. Whatever <laughs> we decide to do, Iron Brad. <laughs> um, see how many people just get the reference. Like, dude, that movie's like two years old. Serious? Yeah. Um, so, so that's so that's an honorable mention. And then we need another honorable mention. Come on. Come on. Is what I'm working with. I want to think of a good one. If it's going to be honorable, it's got to be Fine. decent. We got Iron Brad. That's true. No, we Doesn't have to be that good if we're putting Iron Brad in there. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of things we want Brad to do, but a lot of things that aren't realistic. My Ooh. Brad. Okay, you had an idea. I can tell. Since Brad does have access to an aircraft. Yes. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I don't want to see him crash it. No, 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 no. I don't no. want to see him I would die. not wish that upon him. Of course not. He's a good friend of mine. I wouldn't want that. But... We can have him put one of those banners on the back of the plane and fly around with it. <laughs> uh, no, you can't. Why can't we? Because you have to have special license and permits for that. I can make that happen. So we get the permits and licenses, and we put it on the back of the plane. Now we just have to decide what's going to be on it. His phone number. <laughs> for a good time call? No, just, just, just his phone number so people would be I wonder what that means. <laughs> and just call, call me. <laughs> call me. <laughs> call me and his phone number. Legend, wait for it. His phone number, <laughs> Derry. It's a How I Met Your Mother reference. If I ever heard, if, that, I ever, if I ever saw one, that's true. Love it. Good. I think that could be another honor. So, Flying Brad Banner, got it. The Flying Brad Banner. Yeah. Oh, or we just put up a billboard with his number on it. With with one of his uh, tornado Did you, pictures. Oh, <laughs> sub tornado. Was up tornado? Call me. Call me. Right there. Oh, Give it a little jingle. I wonder how much it t- costs. I really want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> to rent out a... I'm talking like 84 or 95 or something. Oh, forget that. The one right at the bottom of 202 here. No. Come on. No, I want the most people to see it. <laughs> I. You know what? But there's none up where he lives because there's like nine people that live up there. I'm going to put it... I'm going to get it put down by the... On the borders going down to South, to, uh, South Carolina. You see there's billboards every like 50 feet. Yeah. And I'll buy out like 100 of those things. <laughs> You never want to move out of your house, do you? Oh, pfft, I don't care. It'll be worth it. <laughs> Why do I keep getting calls? But we can. What about the digital one on eighty four right before you hit Hartford? Oh yeah. Oh. Dunk. Call Brad. <laughs> what? hundred miles south of the border. Call Brad. <laughs> Ninety miles south of the border. Call, Call Brad. Brad. <laughs> Brad wants to hear your thoughts. Eighty miles south of the border. Got problems? I'll listen. Call Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's horrible. That may have become number. That may have become number two. That, yeah, that might have been bumped up. <laughs> that may have just become number two. But that's not something that Brad can do. That's that's something we would have to do to Brad. I'm gonna look up the price of billboards. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I got, you know, it's gonna be expensive, but worth it. If he can get his pilot's license, I can get a million people to call him. That's true. Ah, but that'd be torturous. If not my any, phone. Well, no, it's not your phone, but. The problem is, is, what would he do as a revenge? Exactly. Turn about his fair play. It's like, if you want Justin Bieber's number, call this. <laughs> oh. You have all these 12-year-olds in the federal government's like, we need oh, to have a Oh, that's a billboard. If you want Justin Bieber's number, I'm giving it out for free. Yeah. <laughs> Until Justin Bieber comes and like kicks his ass. Or I'll spell Bieber wrong so he can't sue us and nobody would catch it. <laughs> but like the E before the I or B- something like that. B-E-B-U-R-R. Bieber. Like a, like a cold bee. Yeah. A cold bee? A cold bee. 
Bieber. Berber. Burr. Ed Zachary. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Bieber. Oh, it's freezing. So, anyways, okay, so monocolor Brad. Okay. Billboard Brad. Billboard Brad. Tutu Brad. Yes. Clown makeup Brad. Absolutely. And Iron Brad. Cool. Those were our two animal mentions. I, I, yes. And we're not going to post this on Facebook because no use in spoiling the surprise. Because we'll tell him next week on the show. Absolutely. Bring a tutu. If he wants to know, he can watch the episode and see everything he missed. Yes. Enjoy it, Brad. I know I will. That's right. That wasn't creepy. Not at all. Um, but it fit very well. It did. Uh, what do we got for time here? Uh, 10.14. Really? Yeah. That's not bad. No, no. We got some news stories we can plow through? Um, oh, we got a photo. 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 This just in. Oh. oh. What, what? Is that? Who is that? That's not Brad. That's uh, Captain Iron Brad Iron Thor. Thor America. Captain Iron Thor. Captain Iron Thor. Thor. Mm, That's a transsexual superhero. Actually, that'd be a trisexual superhero. Well, because there's three of them. Uh, my geek Dar is going off right now <laughs> because it can't exist if he's got Iron Man's armor, Thor's hammer, and Captain America's shield. You can't have that. But well, some, it must be true because we're seeing how somehow he's pulling it off. Wow. Oh, that makes sense because so he's Captain Iron Thor. So if the three of them had a baby, this is what it would look like. It would have a metal face. Yes. Kind of, and a circle for an arm. Yes. And, and a. And they give him a really weird a rattle. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a baby rattle. It's not an actual <laughs> Thor hammer. Thor smash. <laughs> Just breaks it. Captain Iron Thor smash. Oh, he broke another uh, crib. Damn. Imagine that baby. <laughs> <laughs> Feed me now. <laughs> oh. No breastfeeding for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. No nibbles for you. Uh, we do have some news stories. I think that I don't want. I don't, I don't want to punish the people by having me read them. Jay, I'd like to have you read a news story. But we've already punished them about putting all those mental pictures about Brad. I don't. If that's care. not punishment enough. I don't care. Uh, you want me I don't. E I haven't even seen these. So cool. Neither have I. You made it. Pfft, I copy pasted. Drug dealer mistakenly sends officer text messages. Cool, let's do it. Go. Don't read right in front of your face. People want to see your face. No, they don't. Okay. Police say a drug dealer mistakenly sent messages to a California Central Coast police officer in an attempt to sell methamphetamines. Good job. Not what we call top of the food chain there. No. The, San the Santa Maria <laughs> officer <laughs> notified Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Detectives about the errant text messages early Tuesday. The officer and detectives then set up a meeting with the alleged drug dealer. This is what keeps dispatchers and police officers in business. Stupid people. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> if you're going to do something wrong, do it don't really, be stupid. If you're going to do something wrong, do it really wrong. Exa yeah, either if you're going to do something wrong, you're either going to be an idiot or you're going to be like the mafia. You're mm -hmm. either going to do it totally right or you're just going to completely botch it. There's really no in the middle where, yeah, I got away with it. No, they always find you because you're an idiot. And I cannot speculate or comment about anything to do with the mafia. That's for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Okay, go on. Uh, Wait, hold on. Go on! <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff spokesman Drew Sugars, what a great name that is, says they arrested 39-year-old Raimundo Carlos Escobedo. <laughs> Ooh, Can you say that one more time? I would love to. <laughs> They arrested 39-year-old Raimundo Carlos Escobedo. Man, I feel better. <laughs> you should. Vowels must have been on sale that day. Yeah, buy one O, get one free. <laughs> Anyways. And it seized about two grams of methamphetamine. A news release says 37-year-old John Martin Silvera. Not as cool. Who is Escobedo's. Escobedo. <laughs> Escobedo. I don't know why I did the Italian. <laughs> Bella. Escobedo. Es Escobedo. Yeah, he's got Escobedo or Escobedo. Escobedo. It depends on where he's from. Ah, yeah. If he's from the northern or the southern. Southern. <laughs> I forgot where we were. Escobedo's suspected. suspected methamphetamine supplier also arrived and was arrested with about seven grams of... Which makes nine. We, you, there's an M missing. So, ethamphetamine. <laughs> Escobedo and Silvera. Oh. 
I can't roll the R. <laughs> Thank you. Remain held on drug charges. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just not working. It's just... Severa. <laughs> Ooh, there it goes. <laughs> I got a little purr out of it. Drug charges, <laughs> criminal conspiracy, 30 grand each if you want to get out and see the light of day oh. before you go see the judge. For nine grams of, uh, without the M, ethamphetamines. Ethamphetamine. <laughs> That's not Spanish. You don't know that. Can you say his name one more time for me? <laughs> Raimundo Carlos Escopedo. You even rolled the R's. Very I well done. did it by accident. It's called a stutter. <laughs> I stuttered, and it sounded good. <laughs> I stuttered. I stuttered. Stuttered? Ooh. Hollywood rumor mill. Sir Isaac Newton action hero. Ooh. How have they not come up with this blockbuster movie yet? Hollywood. <laughs> what, the, the Isaac Newton movie? <laughs> I invented gravity. No, it's always been there. Yeah, but it'd be funny if you did jackass style by just like throwing things off of oh. buildings and dropping them on people. I hey, I invented gravity. Look. Which falls well, faster? Well, he didn't invent it, but he... Uh, a pound, uh, like uh, 16 pounds of feathers or 16 pounds of bowling ball. <laughs> okay, Johnny, under the bowling ball <laughs> and just some random dude under the feathers. We're going to figure this out. <laughs> One, two, three, go. <laughs> Uh, it looked like it was going at not. It was accelerating at nine point six meters per second. Nine point eight. Oh no! I think it's nine point six. Nine point eight meters. Oh, per we'll have to figure it out and do it again. See? Ah, ah I knew where I was going. I got smart. you now. I'm with you. Yeah. What are we talking about? Uh, Johnny Knoxville. Oh. No, no, no. He no. should be in the uh, the Isaac, Isaac Newton, Newton uh, movie. The documentary. Oh. Anyways, go oh, on. Okay. This sounds like a stretch, but was a member of the Parliament of England from 1689 to 1690. And in 1896... Wait a minute. In his early 50s. There's something wrong there. I did just copy-paste. These are not my news stories. In was a member of Parliament in England from 1689 to 1690. Now, I'm not okay. good at math, but... And then 206 years later, <laughs> when he was only in his 50s, <laughs> his 50s... So evidently he was negative 200-something <laughs> back in the 1600s. Oh. He became warden of the British Mint. Good for him. Daily Variety says producer Rob Cohen is serious about it, and since he's done films like The Witches of Eastwick, The Legend of Billie Jean, and <laughs> The Hard Way, you got to take him seriously. <laughs> I don't know if I can, given the years in this thing. My brain hurts. I'm really not sure what happened. Uh, hmm. Uh, anyways, you want to read the fashion emergency? Yes, because I just saw no adult content, but if you'd like <laughs> to take that one, I will happily pass the baton to you. Oh, no. No, no. I read the story. You can read it. Are there boobies? You can read it. Woo! <laughs> I'm excited and giddy now. You won't be. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, don't read ahead. Read Warning. It. Adult content. Warning. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a spike in the sales of neckties and the super softcore porn bestseller Fifty Shades of Grey. And the super softcore porn bestseller Fifty Shades of Grey is the reason. Community college, sorry. Uh, women are buying more of the accessories used in the book. That includes clothes... Clothesline clothes, rope. Clothesline rope, riding crops, handcuffs, and of course, silver gray men's ties. Fashionista.com says even the normally conservative brand Brooks Brothers is even getting in on the fun. They recently issued a statement that said, We may not have 50 shades of gray ties, but we do have eight shades of gray ties. Well, they stretched on that they yeah, they really did. Uh, we have 15, but we got eight. <laughs> you know what made it adult content? Tell me. The picture they had with the story. Boobies? It was just a girl in a necktie. Oh. I could not put that on here because I knew you would turn it to the monitor. You got six minutes. Oh, we got six minutes. Wait a minute. How much, how much time does Rob need for the outro? There is no outro. I'm just playing the music. How much time do you want for it? I don't know. I would say start your what you learned within the next minute. Okay. It's now time for Brad, who's not here's favorite <laughs> part of the show. Which we both loathe it, so we're going to do it anyways. Because we have to be consistent if yeah. nothing else. Uh, it's where we well, oh, recap what, what it's called is yeah we, where we recap it? everything that we have learned today in a segment we call what, what we, we learned, learned today. today yeah Pat? Oh, dang it you said it first ah, suck it Trebek <sighs> what okay. have you learned today I really don't know if I've learned anything that's the problem I learned that we really want Brad to do a lot of random stuff yep um, that 
I sh I'm happy I didn't put the picture on here because you would have turned it to the screen for everybody to see. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, uh, I also learned that we can actually somewhat do a show without Brad. For 90 minutes. Yeah, which I'm impressed with. Without um, any video, without any filler. Yeah. Just all beef patties. It's no filler. No buns, no pickles, no, no, Nothing. just. None of that pink junk, whatever the hell it's that is. Ju it's just beef. Count it. We're, we're, we're counting it our style. Oh, yeah. Stunk. Yeah. <sighs> Sup, Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, Irene. You got nothing on me. Anyways, um, I also learned that when we do the the, te the, the geeky news, mm -hmm. we need to at least let the other people read the story so we know what they're about, so we can talk. Because For 69 seconds. I knew what your stories were. You had no idea about mine. I did, well, I knew the topics because I typed them in. Anyways, Jason, <laughs> what did you learn today? I learned that even though Xbox is putting their head in their A double crooked letter by putting Internet Explorer onto their platform. Which already has Bing. Bing! But you can't really search for much. No. They might be removing head from A double crooked letter with actually doing a cross-platform app that will go along with their system and not saying, we're going to make this whole new thing and you have to go buy it. No, here's your technology you already have. We'll actually come and adapt to you. Which so that, that, that's something I learned. That Microsoft is not complete horse. Taking a turn for the right. Yes, exactly. I also learned that we really want to do cruel things to Brad. We do. And we got to see if we can at least get one. Yeah. <laughs> two, two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can find one in his size. I still smell that marker. Sorry. Was that you? Maybe. Did you eat the marker? Maybe where I accidentally put it to hold it. I learned... Not that to Jay questions. likes to put things up his rectum. Just a convenient place to hold things. Don't ask me how I learned that. Yeah. Don't ask me. Some things are better just left unsaid. Very unsaid. But never unseen at this point. Hmm. Cannot unsee what I've seen. <laughs> no matter how hard you gouge your eyes out, it's in your memory. Though these forever. are new already. Oh, are they? They're new. Yeah, the same prescription, though they suck. <laughs> so Go see a doctor. I, I have. So anyway... Go visit our website, which sucks right now, uh, NSLS.tv. Feel free to not do that right now, yeah. Yeah, so um, uh, the website's actually on fire, so don't do that because then your computer will catch on fire. And bad for your computer because, you know, boom, boom. You can go to Facebook.com slash NSLSTV. Or YouTube.com slash NSLSTV. Where you can see all of our episodes in case you happen to miss one week and didn't DVR it. Feel free to watch us over and over. It's, like, it's only... comment, do whatever. Yeah, Just whatever. don't dislike yeah, you're not going to hurt no. our feelings. No, I think no. we have like someone in like the Persian Gulf who likes it. Yeah, us. but I liked it, so it's 50-50. Okay, that's fine. I can't stand 100% negative. You know what? Watch our episode and then dislike it. Yeah, at least give us a shot to dislike us. Yeah. That's all we ask. Eh. Give us a fair shot. Yeah. I mean, it's only an hour and a half long. What yeah, else? What's, could... what's the 90 minutes out of your life? No, no, you might get a giggle out of something. You I doubt you. it. Maybe you like to find watch, out you like us. Watch our episodes drunk. It'll make it a lot funnier. Oh, dude. I used to come to them drunk. Did you? Yeah. You were a real dick. Uh, well, I was in a good mood. That's true. You were. Yeah. We have a Twitter. He updates every now and then. Hmm. Not lately, but no. every now and then. I had some thoughts, though, that I'm going to post on them. Oh, I think you should. Yeah. Where's Super Music? Did you break it? I don't know if we can do this for like three minutes. Hello. We're obviously not trained. Hello. Oh, I am, my friend. Hello. This is episode Hello. one, two, two, two. Hey, two, two. It's a sign. Ah. It's the two, two thing has to happen. That is a sign. Whereas 12, two, two. M. Banjo Sacker. Still have no idea who he is. Chasing a tornado. <laughs> hey, I'm a producer. Which I'm still not sure how. Uh, not so awesome. Odd rock caster. <laughs> what the heck awesome is that? Awesome director. What's that? Uh oh, they're going faster. We must be running out of time. Blasco, Drem, Pebble. So go befriend us on Facebook. Check us out. 195 days until the end of the world, where we deep fry the end of the world. We deep fry Brad. Number one thing we want to see.
Rad deep fried? Hey, I mean, look, our website. Don't go visit it yet. It's still on fire. Yep. Hello. Copyrighted. Can't, can't copy any of us.